Hi again, everybody. This is Chris Brown here with Nexus 2012, and I'm standing here with Bob Novella, one-fifth of the rogues of the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. Bob, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. How did the uh, live taping go yesterday? I mean, I loved it, but what did you? how did you feel? It went great. I was a little thrown off a bit by those director's chairs because I like having a nice table in front of me with my water and my, my notes and stuff. But I actually like the director's chairs because it, it just... Looking at us on stage, it looks a lot better, I think. Instead of just seeing like our chests and heads, you could just see us all sitting in the chair. I thought it just came off a lot better, and we may do that more in the future, although I need a place to put my water on those chairs. So I think it went, it went well. And besides that, I mean, it, it was funny. Um, I thought it was informative, and I thought it went... It just, we just love all being together because the, you know, the interaction and the play, you know, we play with each other so much that it's, it's even better than when we're, than when we're Skyping and doing it uh, in separate cities all the time every week. That's great. One of the things I love about the Skeptics Guide is that you've all got your own areas of expertise and your own little things. Did that just happen organically, or did you guys really sort of plan that out? It it did. It did. It's uh, you know with Jay, with Jay and Steve and uh, and Rebecca, they're just they've got their focus on, on their little areas of skepticism. For me, it's always been the science, the, the physics, the astronomy. And I remember early on, I was doing some some um, skeptical stories and. I love skepticism, of course, obviously, but I just was always gravitating towards the science, and I kept asking Steve, hey, let me do some science stuff, and, and it finally kind of just like went that in that direction, and now that's pretty much exclusively what I do, and I think it's a great niche for me. Um, I love explaining science. I love learning about it and seeing what the news items are, so uh, I think it's, it just kind of organically just became that, and uh, I think it's, it's working out really well, I think. Very nice. Well, make sure to download the episode at Skeptic's Guide, and uh, Bob, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Nano, nano. <laughs> thanks, Griffin.